pardon the car pun, but there is a race to produce more EV batteries to power vehicles just like these. China and some other countries, they already have a head start. But the U.S. just secured a $2.5 billion boost to even the playing field. It is such a delight personally for me to be back here. U.S. Secretary of Energy and former Michigan Governor Jennifer Granholm back in Metro Detroit with a great holiday so, gift for local uh, industry. She announced the Department of Energy's new $2.5 billion loan, which will help lithium-ion battery manufacturer Ultium Cells LLC create jobs in Michigan, Ohio, and Tennessee. A third of the 11,000 total jobs will be in our state and will be a combination of construction and operations. So I'm a big believer. Uh, the Biden-Harris administration is a big believer in the grit and the resilience of American workers. They're the best in the world at at innovating and collaborating and troubleshooting. And these are our skills that we're going to need. We know it's essential for us to, to deal with climate change and to bring down carbon emissions and something that's an existential threat to our planet. The goal is to help America become a leader in EV battery manufacturing. Right now, China accounts for 70% of the market. Granholm says that over the past three years, the number of EVs on the road has tripled. The industry will have a $50 trillion reach by next decade, which makes EV battery making a hot market. U.S. Senator Debbie Stabenow, who attended Monday's announcement, helped secure the loan. We are on the move right now. We are on the move. And so the discussion this morning, uh, talking about workforce, which is critical, is frankly needed because we are making things here. We're going to make these batteries here. Ultium Cells LLC will work with General Motors to produce more electric vehicles. The startup company will also establish a partnership with high schools and colleges for apprenticeships. Most of these jobs will be union-based. UAW President Ray Curry. Without proper planning, our dependence on imports will become even greater as EV production increases on time. We need to again commit to American jobs, jobs here built in the USA, products built in the USA, and a commitment for growing good paying union jobs. Secretary of Energy Jennifer Granholm says by 2025, so a little less than three years from now, the U.S. will have 10 battery making plants in our country and many more by 2030. Brandon Hudson, Fox 2 News.